All right, quick little update for all the uh, supercharger followers. Um, we got this upper bracket on. I did have to sand out this hole a lot and on the bottom and outer part of it. And then I did have to add this nut. I'm planning on getting a spacer, but to make it straight, um, here's the radiator. And like I was trying to tell you guys before, the sit cylinder radiator will not work. It's not gonna work. This this radiator is completely all the way back. And like I said, this two inches over, it's right here in front of it. So the, your stock sit cylinder one will not work. Luckily, the four cylinder ones fit perfectly fine into your E36s and they move it over and they come with their own reservoir. So you delete the reservoir on this side bring the reservoir over here fits perfectly i did drive with this four cylinder radiator probably for half a year a little over half a year never gave me a problem i just switched this this under one just to see how it fit uh, it did not fit because the reservoir doesn't fit over here so i actually had the reservoir over here hanging around but it just wasn't working so i'm going back to the four cylinder one i got the 420 cc injectors i have the intaking right here coming up we finally got the icv piping going um i just need one more clamp right there i am waiting for the um bypass valve um sadly the one i had wasn't gonna work um the one i had was an inch and a half almost and these are inch and it just it would have been too much work to try to get it to work so i got the the uh inch bypass valve and so i'm go here and then this will just connect straight to it with this silicone hose, which I'm going to shorten to make it fit. And after that, I mean, I just got a, I had a radiator hose for the four cylinder one. Don't remember what I did with it. Um, probably just going to buy another hose and then cut it. Uh, I think I used the E46 uh, hose. So I'm going to get one of those hoses, cut it, put it on there. And then for after that, it's pretty much done for the cooling system. I mean... I have the hose running from the firewall to here to the bottom. It fits perfectly fine. It doesn't touch anything. Power steering reservoir is located over there to the back at the moment. And yeah, we're looking good. All I need to do now is pretty much install the two gauges with the vacuum lines, but I gotta wait for the bypass valve and then the uh, wide band. And once we do that, um, pretty much, look at those headers. Beautiful letters. And this valve cover looks really nice. But yeah, after that, we're pretty much good to go. I gotta, I gotta swap this sensor. Remember, you gotta swap these sensors in between each other. Um, depending on which one your fits. This is the, I think the original one. And I swapped it with this one. They both work, it's just connections, so. I have it over there on the original E36 one I had. But there's a little update, um, in case anyone's wondering. Um, before we do a whole uh, dyno testing and everything, I'm going to do a video of the whole car completely, interior, exterior. I just want to describe everything to everyone to show what I have on this car, what's inside of it, what's underneath it, and all that. So thank you for always watching. and. Uh, here we go.